Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 2, March the 2nd. March the 2nd is the 61st day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, unless it's a leap year, and then it's the 62nd day of the year. There are 304 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is Yahoo. Yahoo is a noun that can be pronounced Yahoo or Yahoo. Yahoo! Yahoo! As an interjection. As a noun, Yahoo means a person who is boorish, loud, disruptive, etc. Yahoo can also be used as an interjection expressing excitement, delight, or triumph. This is a term that comes to us several different ways. As a noun, it was the name of a race of brutish creatures in Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. Earliest documented use in that context is 1751. As an interjection, it seems to be of echoic origin. Earliest documented use, 1976, although I'm pretty sure I've heard the term in that context before that. Perhaps it was an undocumented slang word. But wait, there's more. <laughs> we'll talk about the internet company and search engine Yahoo a little bit later on in today's history. Yahoo or Yahoo. And with that, March 2nd is Texas Independence Day, the celebration of the adoption of the Texas Declaration of Independence on March 2, 1836. This document was signed by 59 delegates who were settlers in Mexican Texas and officially declared independence from Mexico, creating the Republic of Texas. This is an event to be noted, but not necessarily an official state holiday where all government offices would be closed, although some offices might have reduced staffing. The Steelworkers Organizing Committee signed a collective bargaining agreement with U.S. Steel on March 2, 1937, leading to unionization of the United States steel industry. And in other Texas-related news, Captain James Gallagher landed his B-50 Super Fortress Lucky Lady II in Fort Worth, Texas on March 2, 1949, after completing the first non-stop round-the-world airplane flight in 94 hours and one minute. Four-day non-stop trip around the world. Wow. That base and airfield, by the way, are about three miles from where I'm sitting right now as the crow flies. As I like to say, West Fort Worth, where every day is an air show. <laughs> Previously only available in Japan, compact discs and players were released for the first time in the United States and other markets on March 2, 1983. Wow. CDs. Back in 1994, which, can you believe that was 28 years ago? Wow. Anyway, back in January of 1994, a couple guys, engineering graduate students, Jerry Yang and David Filo, created a website called Jerry and David's Guide to the World Wide Web. <laughs> this was a human-edited directory. A couple months later, they renamed their website Yahoo. Of course, our word today was Yahoo with a couple of different meanings, but this Yahoo has yet another meaning. In this case, Yahoo is a backronym for yet another hierarchically organized oracle or yet another hierarchically officious oracle with oracle intended to mean a source of truth and wisdom and hierarchical referring to the fact that the Yahoo database was arranged in layers and subcategories. This was not a searchable index at first, but more of a tree-like structure, a list. They came up with this great backronym and also they enjoyed the concept of a Yahoo in the then current slang, as the term had evolved from the fictional beings in Gulliver's Travels. So they put their list together in January of 1994, renamed it in March of 1994. In January of 1995, they registered the website domain name of yahoo.com, and on March 2nd, 1995, Yahoo was incorporated. A lot's happened. At Yahoo since then, and I don't think either of those guys are still there, 
but Yahoo still exists. There are uh, several YouTube videos about the history of Yahoo. Uh, very interesting, and uh, you can sure check that out. Yahoo. Well, doggone, we didn't mention a birthday at all today, did we? I can tell you there are lots of interesting birthdays on March 2nd throughout history, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned a few of them in last year's episode, if you'd like to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this if you found it interesting or informative. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link in the description. That description lives on YouTube. So for the other channels, I'll put a link to my blogger page that will have all those links. My blog is called No Really. <laughs> And you can find me also on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Getter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.